I have 10 side hustles that you could easily start right now as long as you have a car and a driver's license. And the first one is selling advertising on your vehicle. In case you guys haven't noticed, there are a bunch of companies out there that will pay you just for having company branding on top of them. And two companies that offer this service is Rapify and Carvertize. As long as you have a car that's at least 2010, you're able to smack advertising on that vehicle. And as you drive around doing your regular routine, you'll get paid an average of $100 to $700 every single month just for doing what you normally would. Carvertize and Rapify let you choose from around 20 different companies that you could use in order to advertise on your vehicle. And then once you choose that company, you also get to choose the type of branding that you like on your car. So it's completely up to you if you'd like to have a huge LED sign on top of your car, which would probably pay you the most, or if you'd like to have a wrap along the side of your vehicle that kind of details what the company's about. And as soon as you get your car wrapped, you're gonna start making money. Another side hustle that you could do as long as you have a car is pick up free items around your city, which you could then resell and make a profit from. There are four main companies that I focus on when it comes to getting free stuff, and that's OfferUp, Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, and Free. All of these companies allow you to go to people, pick up the items that they don't want, and you could just have them for yourself without having to pay a single penny. The best part is these items are normally in great condition, but people are just giving them away because they either don't have space and they're not going to pay for storage, or because they're moving to a completely new area and they don't want the stuff that they've got, or because this stuff is considered junk to them. But of course, another man's trash is another man's treasure. So as soon as you pick up these free items around your city, you could easily repost them for sale. And a lot of people do this with sofas in specific, where they'll pick up a sofa that's worth $300. And as soon as they pick it up, they post it up for sale and they're able to make money on the spot because they're selling it below market value. So if you have a car that has some space, then go ahead and pick up free items around your city and start making some extra cash. Another side hustle that you could do with your vehicle is of course, rent it out. There's this one app in specific known as Turo that's well known for renting people's vehicles out and it gives you advertising for free which means that as soon as people go on the Turo app and you have your car listed people will actually see your car as an option to rent out and it also gives you the option to have liability insurance which means that if somebody gets into an accident with your vehicle you will be covered now with Turo you could expect to make an extra $50 every single day just by renting your car out so if you don't use your car on the weekends or you have an extra vehicle that you just don't use at all you could easily rent them out and make some extra cash without having to go out of your way too much because as soon as your car is rented all you have to do is wait for the person to bring it back. Now, one thing that I will say to be aware of is that you wanna make sure that your vehicle doesn't have any mechanical issues because it will leave you in a position where the person who rents your vehicle out is gonna be constantly contacting you because they're having issues. And on top of that, your vehicle has to have come out within the last 12 years in order to be qualified to be put on the Turo platform. So as of right now, it's 2023, meaning your vehicle would have to at least be a 2011 vehicle in order to be qualified to rent out on Turo. But Turo is definitely a great side hustle if you have a car and it's an easy way to make some extra cash. Next up, with your vehicle space, you could also help people move. If you guys have an SUV or you have a car that just has a lot of interior space, you could actually help people move out of their house because a lot of people don't feel like paying for a moving truck and doing the service by themselves. But if they find someone who's willing to help them out and just put some stuff in their car and take it to another location, you could easily make a quick $100 a day from grabbing a few stuff from somebody's house. Normally, moving is extremely stressful, so people are always happy to get some extra help. So if you come in with some extra help and you come in with some vehicle space that allows them to put their items so that you could transport it then you're definitely going to get paid out pretty well next up you could also rent out your driveway for this one you don't necessarily need to have a car but if you have a driveway you most likely have a vehicle so you could actually rent out your driveway on a monthly basis because a lot of times especially in busy cities people lack space to park whether it's because there's a show going down the street that they want to go visit but they just can't park their car close or because they just have an extra vehicle that they don't have space for at home, people are looking for extra parking spaces. So if you have a large driveway that could fit one or two cars, you could easily make an extra $100 a month per vehicle by just renting out your parking space and allowing people to leave their vehicle there for a certain period. Because I'll tell you right now, it's not like anybody ever thinks of making money with their driveway, but if you're able to make money with your driveway and you're able to make money by putting advertising on your car, these are easily two of the most passive ways of making money with a vehicle that you could possibly think of. Another well-known side hustle that people do with cars is deliver food. There are apps such as Uber Eats and DoorDash and a whole bunch of other places that pretty much allow people to become delivery drivers for different companies. You just drop people's food off to them. And a lot of times these drivers will make around $12 per hour on average. And they also get paid tips from the people that they're delivering the food to. So if you guys are looking 
looking to make some extra cash, it's not a bad idea to stop by your nearest McDonald's to go pick up somebody's order and then come back and drop it right off to them. So although some orders might be coming up extremely far from your current location, you could just wait till one pops up within your area so you don't have to go out of your way too much. Next up, you could also become a driver for the elderly people. A lot of people who are old don't actually drive anymore because they either have bad eyesight or health problems or they just shouldn't be on the road in general because it's not safe. So if you're able to act as a personal chauffeur for these people who just don't have the ability to drive for themselves, you could easily make a decent amount of money every single month, whether it be for taking them to their doctor's appointments or just taking them shopping or taking them to go get their groceries. There are actually some businesses that you guys could find in your local area that will allow you to specialize in this service so that you're not doing it as a freelancer. But if you do choose to do it as a freelancer, normally it will require you to build some type of relationship with the elderly person that you'll be working with. But once you do that, it's a pretty fulfilling side hustle because not only are you helping somebody, but that same person is also willing to pay you for helping them out. So it's a win-win situation and it's a great way to make some extra cash on the weekend if you already have a full-time job. Another thing that you could do is drive people from the airport to their locations. A lot of times people coming from the airport are tourists and they come with a whole lot of money ready to spend and if they just need to get to their location, they don't have an issue spending some money. And also due to the high price of parking, they don't normally leave their vehicle sitting at an airport because they'll end up paying a whole lot more just for doing that as opposed to just paying for a ride. And this is a great alternative to Uber and Lyft because the rates are a lot higher, which means you could be charging $100 per trip pretty easily and you could make a whole lot more money than if you were an Uber driver or an Uber Eats delivery driver because this is literally you working for yourself and the rates really depend on how much you want to charge. But the next option is taking the traditional route and becoming a driver for ride sharing apps such as Uber and Lyft. You could easily make money doing this and of course you don't always have to go to the airport like you would for the other side hustle but they do pay a lot less but it's still a great way to make some extra cash on your free time. Whether it be you driving back to work or coming from work you could pick up somebody on your trip so that you could make money while going back to your house or going back to your job. And by picking up people that are normally on your route, you're not gonna necessarily be going out of your way, but you could always just go ahead and do this as a full-time side hustle where you're picking up people consistently on a daily basis and dropping them off to their locations to make some extra money. On average, just like you would with delivering food from DoorDash or Uber Eats, you could expect to make around $12 per hour as long as you're doing this at a consistent rate. And of course, as long as you find people within your area. Normally, these companies will give you free advertising, so they'll tell you which people are in your area and you'll get notifications that pop up on your screen so you really don't have to do too much searching. So if you guys are looking to make some extra money just by owning a vehicle and having a driver's license, these are 10 side hustles that I suggest trying because they're highly effective and can make you some extra money every single month. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And of course, make sure you guys turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Besides that, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. See you, chump. Bye.